Hey guys, happy Saturday this week and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike and on today's episode we are going to be breaking down and continuing our nervous system series with an in-depth look at the first subgroup of the peripheral nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. More specifically, the sympathetic nervous system. Last week we dove into the major structures of the spinal cord, concluding the central nervous system. So if you missed that video, click the eye above my head to check it out. With that said, let's dive in and get started. In contrast to the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system is every neuron and nerve structure that isn't the brain and spinal cord. Because the peripheral nervous system is so vast, we attempt to ease our understanding by subdividing this system into the autonomic nervous system and the somatic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system controls and regulates the body's involuntary functions, such as your heart rate, blood pressure, blood flow to and from organs and muscles, sexual response, digestion, and vascular response. We further subdivide this system into the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems. Before we continue, make sure to answer that question of the day in the comments below. What major EMS drug is considered a sympathomimetic? The sympathetic nervous system connects the internal organs to the brain by spinal nerves located from the T1 vertebrae to the L2 vertebrae. When stimulated, these nerves repair the organism for stressful situations. This is more popularly known as the fight or flight response. But I like to think about it more like the body's gas pedal. We as EMS providers come in contact with the sympathetic nervous system far more frequently than we actually think. Medical conditions that we encounter like sepsis and medications we administer like Levofed manipulate the sympathetic nervous systems directly and off them. The sympathetic nervous system stimulates the adrenal glands to release the catecholamines epi and norepi to control much of the fight or flight responses. Think about the old example of meeting a bear in the woods. What would you guys expect your sympathetic nervous system to do for you to fight or run from the bear? Blood is redirected from the non-essential organs like the skin and intestinal tract to further feed the heart, brain, lungs, and major muscle groups. Pupils dilate, allowing more light to see. Heart rate will increase to circulate more oxygen-rich blood around the body. Blood pressure increases due to increased cardiac output. Respiratory rate increases, bringing more oxygen into the body. Bronchial tubes dilate, increasing the amount of oxygen that reaches the alveoli. Sweat glands increase production to help keep the body cool. And lastly, the major muscle groups become rigid, ready to provide intense and effective bodily movements. Let's look at that previously mentioned sepsis patient again. In an attempt to maintain homeostasis, the body activates the sympathetic nervous system dumping epinephrine and norepinephrine, thus increasing the heart rate to circulate the lower blood volume. Blood pressure is typically lower during sepsis, so the body's vasculature constricts in an attempt to increase blood pressure. Respiratory rate will increase to bring in more oxygen to offload an increased level of CO2. Patients become pale and cool as blood is redirected from the skin to the primary organs like the heart, lungs, and brain. And as I alluded to earlier, we can help the sympathetic nervous system by giving medications like Levofed, which is simply concentrated norepinephrine, thus helping the sympathetic nervous system to manipulate the vascular tone of the body. EMTs and medics alike not only must know the effect their care plays on the sympathetic nervous system, but to be able to recognize the signs that the sympathetic nervous system has been activated by the body. Make sure to join us next week when we break down the yin to the sympathetic yang, the parasympathetic nervous system. In the meantime, guys, stay safe out there, and I will see you guys in the next video.